Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to find the exact value of the expression. So what I've done is I've given you six, six expressions. Um, but what we want to do is be able to see, well, can we rewrite those as you know, a, single exact, a single expression for the exact value of, our, of an angle? And the way we're going to use this is by using our double angle formulas. So it's going to be very important for you to make sure that you have your double angle formulas in front of you um, or memorized in your head. So therefore, you can kind of see the way that I'm going to be thinking about this. So by going looking through my double angle formulas, I can see that this is very similar to uh, the double angle formula that I have. And the double angle formula that I have for this is the sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine of theta times um, cosine of theta. So basically what that means is you can see that 15 degrees is really theta. It's exactly the same, except they've replaced um, theta with 15 degrees. So therefore, to evaluate for the exact value, all I'm simply going to do now is replace, um, is re to find the exact value, I'm going to replace theta with 15. So it's going to be the sine of 2 times 15 degrees. And therefore, that equals. 2 times 15 is the sine of 30 degrees. Therefore, the exact value of this expression is the sine of 30 degrees. Um, to go over this one, you can see that this is looking at my uh, double angle form. This follows along the form of the double angle for cosine. So the double angle for cosine is cosine of 2 theta equals cosine, th cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta. So now, in this example, basically what we're doing is we're replacing uh, theta they replaced theta with 75 degrees. So we, to find the exact value, we're going to put 75 degrees in for theta. So therefore, to find the single value, I just do cosine of 2 times 75 degrees. And therefore, that equals cosine of 150 degrees. So the exact value is going to be the cosine of 150 degrees for this one. So basically what we're doing is I'm just looking at which double angle formula, sine, cosine, or tangent, does my expression most look like. And then I just plug in the value for theta into the exact value of that double angle and then simplify. Uh, so over this one, again, you have 2 cosine squared of pi over pi divided by 8 minus 1. Again, this is another example of cosine. Because remember, the double angle of cosine has three different, three different uh, uh, ways that we can uh, evaluate for it. So this one is cosine of 2 theta is equal to 2 cosine squared of theta minus 1. So now, again, kind of following along my rules, I'm just going to plug in the cosine of 2 times pi over 8. And that equals cosine of 2 pi over 8 is going to be cosine of pi over 4. And that's going to be your expression. I guess you could also evaluate for all of these. Um, the sine, I guess I wasn't really planning on doing that. But I guess I probably should if I'm finding the exact value for that. So that equals cosine 150 degrees. Yeah, because these, these are all ones you can evaluate for. So let's go ahead and figure out the value. So the sine of 30 degrees by using my unit circle, uh, 30 degrees square root of 3 over 2 is going to be 1 half. The cosine of 150 degrees is going to be 30 degrees off of the y-intercept. So that's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. Uh, the cosine of pi over 4 is going to equal the square root of 2 over 2. OK, so let's go into the next one. Again, you can see that this one is another example of my sine. right? So rather than rewriting the whole thing again, I can just type in. It's going to equal the sine of um, 2 times 22.5 degrees. Well, what is 22.5 times 2? That's going to be 45 degrees. So that's going to be the sine of 45 degrees. So the sine of 45 degrees is just going to equal the square root of 2 over 2. Um, in this example here, uh, again, this is another representation of cosine. So I'm actually going to write that example down there. So the cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared of theta. So now, again, what we are doing is we're doubling up. And actually, you know what? Let's change this. Sorry about that. Let's do this to 5. 
I'm just going to leave it. I'll, I'll, I'll explain why I did that in a second. Because I was going to do it. I was going to change it. I was like, hey, you know, that would be better just to leave it like that. But anyways, um, so now we can see that my theta has been replaced with pi over 4. So I'm going to plug pi over 4 in for theta. So I have cosine of 2 times um, pi over 12. I'm sorry, not pi over 4. And that equals cosine of 2 over 12. That reduces to pi over 6. And the cosine of pi over 6 is going to be the square root of 3 over 2. Very good. Um, and the last one here, and again, this is going to be for the tangent. So remember, tangent of a double angle. Tangent of a double angle is 2 tangent of theta divided by 1 minus tangent squared of theta. So you can see this has the exact, re exact same representation, um, just that now they replaced um, theta with pi, hat, pi over 5. So I'm going to plug pi over 5 in here. And therefore, to, I get tangent of um, 2 times pi over 5. Now, why did, I ch why did I change the 12 to a 5? Because, well, originally, um, at least the book I was looking in for you know, some problems when they always had like exact values. So if you're just looking for the expression, what's in this blue here would just be in, or blue would just be in that expression. However, they, sometimes they might ask for the exact value. So therefore, I evaluated all these. Well, 2 pi over 5 is not one that we, is not a point that we have on our, um, on our uh, angle where it crosses on the unit circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find the approximate value. So I'm going to make sure my calculator is in radian mode. And my calculator does not turn on. Are you serious? OK, I got another one. Don't worry about that. That sucks. I just replaced those batteries. So now I got to make sure this one is, oh man, this like stinks. Oh, it's working now. OK. So I'll just do mode. It's in radians. Good. So that's going to be the tangent of 2 pi divided by 5. And that gives me 3.078. So since it's approximate, it's going to 3.078. And that's going to be approximate with some, um, with some rounding. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you rewrite the expression and find the exact value um, using the sum and difference formula. Thanks.